Okay, this is a basic video on how to create a Minecraft beta pre-made bucket server. This is not the regular server software, this is the bucket software, which will give you mo more customizability and overall better performance. So what you want to do, you want to go to the link in the description, which is a meteor fire. So um, just wait for that, and you, would just, you will uh, download it. I already have it downloaded. So I just have right here. So you use 7-zip or whatever you want to extract it. Once you got that, open it up. And it has here a couple of server starters, which are all batch files. You open them up, it comes up with this. Um, just go through each of these. Um, if you have 32 bit, then use those, which is uh, if you have um, 4 gig of RAM or less. If um, you have more than 4 gig, then use 64 bit. So, um, personally, I have a 64 bit operating system. So, what you're going to do is just double click on this. It should open up a window. Now, mine already has a server running right now, so I'm just going to open this up. It says your servers for it. It has if you want to have it online, if you want to make it so that people can hurt each other, if you want to spawn animals and mobs. Um, don't mess with this, that's bad. Server port, if you want to run more than one server at once, then um, you can arrange this. Um, Right now, I have two up right now. One's running on 25565, one's running on 25564. Okay, we'll just set this one to be three so that I can show you guys what it looks like. Spawn protection is just um, how long someone um, has invincibility um, after they spawn. So, um, this is just server log. Well, it's a server. Um, don't modify the names of any of these, that'll mess it up. It doesn't have any plugins in it right now, but a really good one is Essentials. Um, if you want that, the URL for that, just uh, send me a message on YouTube, and I'll get that to you. So, once you get this, it's going to start preparing your world, which is saying preparing spawn area. That should just take a couple seconds. Um, so, just let that run. Preparing, preparing, preparing. This is uh, what the server will always look like. You can type into it, um, enter commands, um, so that's pretty useful. So once it says done in like a mess seconds, that's off. Um, so just to uh, get yourself started, you can type in help. Come up with a list of just basic commands right here, console commands, and then. Um, as help, kick, ban, pardon, which is unban basically. Ban IP, unban IP, op, deop, etc. Essentials is a really good uh, pack just because of how um, it makes commands a lot more easy to use and there are tons of stuff. So to save the map, you just hit save dash all. Stop it, stop. And once it says console save complete, that's what it stops. Hit stop, it'll save it. Press any key to continue. Um, so once, after you run it for the first time, um, you can have ops, so you can add um, people you want to be ops like yourself. So say, um, just, just put the username right here. Put a hash for this. Uh, here we go. Um, it has banned IPs, banned players. Now it has the world file in here. If you want, if you have a world editor and you want to do that, then you can use that file right there, level.dat. A good one is uh, MC Edit. That's a really great editor I found. Whitelist. That's a whole new thing. When you go back into here, after you start it up, there will be more options. Um, one of them is the whitelist. What the whitelist will do is if you have it enabled to true, then what it will do is that um, only people who are on this list can actually be on the server. So my name is fail epically. So if I wanted to be on the server, then I'll put it fail epically. If I want my friend to be on the server, then I'll put um, my friend's username. So that's how that works. Let's say that. Um, hell world, that makes it so that all the ground is um, 
just it's basically the nether but it's always true um, spawn monsters got your level name um, if you change this uh, without changing the name well if you do change this it will delete your world and create a new one so just a warning there um, Okay, level seed. One of them I use is 10110101. It's a really good one. Um, let's do that. And online mode, if you want it to be land, then it's false. If you want it to be online for everyone, then it's true. So, um, then it says the last time it was updated or changed. So that's the gist of it. Um, if you want to. There is, if you go to, um, I believe, just Google Bucket Plugins. Bucket is B-U-K-K-I-T. Um, bucket Plugin List, click on this. comes with all of this stuff. These numbers on the right here, they mean the build number of your server. So you're going to want to have the highest build you can because it'll be more stable. So there's all these hundreds of plugins. They're makers over here. And um, the last time they were updated right here. So. My favorite is Essentials. Really great plugin. Does pretty much everything you want. Right here. Useful uh, plugin for commands and features. So, about 100 commands. Um, made by a game named Essential Steam. Um, has version notes. So, it's a really great program. Um, spoilers, I don't think I actually are spoilers. So, you can click on those. So, um, this is a really good plug plugin. Um, if you need any more help with this, just um, send me a message through YouTube. And, um, yeah, so uh, also if you want... Um, you do a let's play for any type of game. I can do it as long as it's on PC. I don't do Xbox. Um, so yeah, just send me a message and um, do that. Thanks.